Hey party people, Panda Brady here, and today we're playing more Steins Gate. Does everyone in America make such exaggerated gestures? Uh, most likely, I don't recall what was going on. Sooner or later, <laughs> she'll say, damn, or oh my god, or... <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> It does sound like he's saying ramen. <laughs> Dang it, she said my real name. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll be... <laughs> I'll be nice to her. We spend a minute staring each other down. Chris, Chris is the first to look away. She does so in a way that says, Good grief. <laughs> but I refuse. In the end, I'm the one who has to explain along with the way, uh, or along the way rather, I also relate the tale of my heroic deeds, which enrages Kurisu, of course. Chris, rather. I keep saying Kurisu. But I finally tell her everything about the bananas and the phone wave, name subject to change. Chris doesn't ask any questions. She's quick to understand, as expected of a genius. It sounded like she was trying to spell something out, but... I'm not sure. Also, does she sound like a Christina V character to you? <laughs> the lady doth protest too much. Without waiting for our appro <laughs> approval, Chris plucks an untouched banana and sticks it in the microwave, then starts entering the commands on her phone. It's strange. She's still wearing her usual frown, but I can't shake the feeling that she's really enjoying herself. I can't put my finger on why. Call it a hunch. But I mean, she is a scientist. Why shouldn't she enjoy experimenting? Okay. Thank you, Chris. Okay, so she's a little stupid. Daru and I do as we're told and stare at the bananas. Truth be told, we were planning to watch the bananas anyway after missing it the first time. We're determined to witness what transpired with our own eyes. Any second now, the jellified banana should reappear on the stem. If it only happens once, we can just call it an accident and be done with it. But if it happens twice, then that's proof that something's actually going on. And then Chris will have to admit that I, the great Hyo in Gyoma, have invented humanity's first teleporter. I keep staring at the bananas in anticipation. A few moments after Chris's report. Blink, blink, blink. Ah! Oh. The Joe banana suddenly appears without a sound. Now there are two of them on the bunch. It happened faster than the blink of an eye. I'm at a loss for words. I just witnessed the unthinkable. This phenomenon is clearly teleportation, or maybe it's not. The microwave timer chimes. 
Chris peeks into the microwave, stumped. She's quite flustered. I don't think many people could remain calm after witnessing such a phenomenon. Yeah. I wouldn't call it a teleporter. It obviously weakened the covalent bonds between the molecules, causing it to become gel. Science with Panda Brady! Chris quickly calms down. She furrows her brow and crosses her arms, tapping her right foot as she mutters to herself. She gives me a sharp look. Her eyes are like a sniper's, hard and keen. バナナの房やレートカラーゲの時はテレポートしなかった。そうよね。例えば、テレポートできるものの大きさに限度があるのかもしれない。カラーゲってバナナより小さいじゃない。実験にはいつも同じカラーゲを使っていた。ワンパック
中止にもかかわらず、マユシと一緒に出かけていったろう。No, I don't remember that. After all, Nakabachi's presentation wasn't canceled the way I remember it. I still don't understand why my memories seem to disagree with everyone else's. So, you have a so much gone. What about that? Made it dead? Yeah. You know, ATF didn't sit up with a maid. When I nod, Chris comes closer. So, let us go. What does he got so no happy? Oh, you took on his side of the scene that? Yes, I did. Oh, Dago, don't look at anyone, not a cop. 1週間以上前に届いていてはあれってオカリンの嘘じゃないでないとタイムスタンプがおかしなことになるじゃん俺はいつも真実しか言わんというかそこまで言うなら送信履歴を見せてやる I always speak the truth huh? Uh, open outbox It's gone Whip out my phone and call up the history. Yeah, it's gone. But, yeah, not a trace of that mail remains. According to my memory, I think it was about 30 minutes after Dr. Nakabachi's conference. About ten people, including me, saw Chris's body panicked and fled Radikon. That's when I sent the mail. But no matter how many times I checked, there's no record of it. It should be there, but it isn't. Just like the banana inside the phone wave. Suddenly, a flash of inspiration strikes. Inspiration! Edison would be proud! This isn't something you can accomplish with effort. Basically, I am a genius! I turn to Daru and Chris with a huge grin on my face. So, by hooking up his phone to the device. Electrical discharge happened. Which... Ah, uh, I was expecting it to be like seriously. Uh, I slapped the top of the phone wave. No, you think? Oh. <laughs> and yes, exactly. <laughs> and Nanika can't get out in the back at the day. Nanika, the nanny. So, you should have been about one of the good of Christina. Don't call her Christina. Oh, trust me, I know. I've, I've known him since high school. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. 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 Oh, yeah, I Okay. I disconnect the phone plugged into the phone wave and replace it with mine. And then I hear the door open in the lounge. She's gonna be mad that two of her bananas are jellified. Myeri comes in carrying a convenience store bag. Looks like she's done with work. Oh, 
ナナ買っといてくれたねえオカリンあれれお客さんおかえりおかえりおかえりだからパイケロッパでどんなソースださっき言った通りメールの着信設定の調整だって遠隔操作のためのメールを受け取った時のモニタリング用でさだから同時に120秒の冷凍機能を使ってた PC からでも冷凍機能を起動できるようにしてやんだよね昨日はそのテストもしてたんだメリージューシーカラーゲナンバーワンを電話レンジカッコ仮の中へみんなもカラーゲ食べる一個ずつならあげてもいいよ I bet she is like actually super annoyed that this cast stuff happens to all of her food but she's so nice and she doesn't want to be a bother to anybody so With her usual ditziness, Mayuri puts the chicken inside the microwave. Dory explains what everything on the computer monitor means. Doesn't look that different from using DOS. I enter 120 pound on the keyboard and straight the enter key. Oops. The phone wave starts up. The juicy chicken number one starts spinning backwards on the turntable. Chris stares hard at the phone wave. As if not,、uh, to not let any anomaly, no matter how slight, escape her notice. Corre, the Golden Age of the Old Kataki, the Joke, and the Side Age of the Hazana. Eh, to do the Taki. So, go and start the Joshua. Huh? What does she? Oh, can you die? I don't know. Wait, one thing. I gotta bring this up in Japanese. Watashi can mean, can mean like me, I, myself, stuff like that. But it's more for female and gender neutral, while guys can just say ore. And it seems kind of. I mean, I, I grew up with English, so it seems kind of annoying. But yeah, when.、Uh, yeah. いいから、俺のメールアドに何かメールを送れ。If we've reproduced the conditions correctly, then if she sends something to my phone while it's connected to the phone wave, it should arrive with a timestamp from the past, not the present. But my assistant, Chris, just scowls. 私、あんたのアドレスし、使えない上司だな。Hey, hey! 勝手に上司にすんなと言っとろうが。あ、oh.、誰？お前の携帯からメールを。あ、おう、えっと、な、えっと、いい。Yeah, exactly anything. えっと、えっと、クリスティーナは変態。これで送れ。<笑>変態禁止って言っただろ。じゃあ間を取って、オカリンは変態で。ラウォー。裏切り者め。ト<笑>レーダー。明日さん、くっちゃ。Chris grins and gives Daru a thumbs up. I really don't like this. Good job. Ah, It sounds like Mayuri has found the result of our latest experiment. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Mail, so s h e s r e Ah, expect my she's a Okane. What are the Harao? So, on a whole is a oh, yes, thank you, Chris, for coming. <laughs> for the uh, because you're the one that did the experiment. Those things, my she no tabemono, the chickens, you know, you're the only one that buys food around here. <laughs> 
しかしてこのから揚げも実験してるのかなそういうことだはいはーい送信するよ送信送信ポチッとな Sending, sending, click. Mayuri slips past me and steps up to the active phone wave. Oh no! Before anyone can react, she grabs the handle. Is this where everything's going to go wrong? Wait, wait, wait. I'll get the But it's too late. Blue white light fills the room, crackling angrily like the heat of a storm. A violent sparking sound. Sparking now. Da da da. Da 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 da. I grab my Yuri and pull her away from the phone wave. That is a bad idea, dude. Uh, possibly. But probably not. You're all protagonists, so. It all looks like it's coming out of her nose. <laughs> hey, look at the effect. Whoa, ow, my eyes. That's a bright light. Oops. There we go. A thin cloud of smoke fills the room. It smells like something burning. My eyes are numb from all the flashing light. I try blinking several times to regain my sight. I can hear Chris and Doru coughing. <laughs> Mayuri squeezes my upper arm with her slender fingers. vision gradually returns. Mayuri looks perplexed. <laughs> Looks like she, uh, covering Mayuri was the right choice. I may be an insane mad scientist, but I still risk my life and limb for the safety of my comrades. I gently let Mayuri out of my embrace. Who? well... That was something. I wiped the sweat off my brow. Are the chicken pieces chicken? Chris's voice is strained. With my vision finally restored, I take another look around the room. And what I see strikes me speechless. The large table in the center of the room is made of thick, solid wood. It can hold about five or six people without breaking. That's why we placed the phone wave of the AMBX68000 on it. That table has been split in two as if it were as if by a woodcutter's axe. The computer and other parts connected to the microwave are scattered across the floor. And the microwave itself is busted. It has broken through the table. It's literally stuck in the floor. <laughs> Maybe that's a black hole theory? I mean, not black hole theory, but somehow they made a tiny black hole and rotated it. Kind of like what uh, John Titer was saying last episode. I shake off my surprise. This is no time to be standing with Jaw Gape Ho O in Kyoma. Seize the moment! Seize the day! Become a newsie! <laughs> You're making stuff up again, aren't you? First some maniacal laughter. Next, I try to take out my phone and do the usual, but unfortunately, it's still plugged into the phone wave. Oh, Psy Kongro. I whisper the words. Oh, sorry, Psy. Words that have no meaning. Words I use simply because they sound cool. These words have meaning because they have no meaning. <laughs> After years of repeated use, just speaking them is enough to calm my heart. 
マユシの唐揚げがひどいことになっている点についてえマユシ stands up and looks inside the phone wave It's embedded in the floor, but somehow,、uh, but she somehow manages to pry the door open. I pat Mayuri's shoulders to cheer her up. I pat Mayuri's shoulders to cheer her up. Continue going to you that throughout the rest of this. <laughs> I fix everyone with an overpowering stare. This shall be remembered as the moment that the greatest experiment of the century succeeded and brought humanity a step forward in a new direction. These guys have no right to ruin that with their foolish talk. My heart pounding, I detach my phone from the phone wave named Subject to Change. Luckily, it's completely unharmed. I open it, it still works. I bring up the list of received emails. New email should come at the top. However, my heart beats even faster. The topmost email isn't the one Daru sent before the discharge occurred. The impossible phenomenon is exactly what I was hoping for. Ho hoping. Hoping. Hoping for. I look back through my email history, and there, I find it! Come on, go faster. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Success. I don't know why, but it was a success. The timestamp proves it. I received this email on July 24th, five days ago. This is the same exact thing that happened to my someone stabbed Chris email. A mail sent on the 29th arrived on the 24th, and just now the truth was revealed to me in a flash of inspiration. <laughs> So, was the phone so close to the microwave? Or, what if the microwave has a leak and somehow this is causing it? Time travel! I feel my lips twist into a grin. I meet Chris's glare head on. Head, the head on. Yes, get on with it! Yes, get on with it! But I so do love this scene. Get on with it! How dare she ruin my speech? Oh well, let's get to the point. Chris seems to get it now, as expected of my genius assistant. This is the choice of Steins Gate. End of chapter one? Yeah, end of chapter one! Yes! We're at chapter two now. Oh, and I received email. The dawn of a new day. Holy cow! 
There's a lot. Also, this was not open earlier. When it just showed me the list, but now it's showing that it is. I have a lot from Shining Finger. Moika here. Are you a student of Kabe-kun? Are you on summer break? Moika. Are you a day person or a night person? If you'd rather e I email you around a certain time, let me know. I want you to reply as soon as you can, but I don't want to be a bother, so let me know, okay? Moika. By the way, I don't like talking on the phone, so please don't call me. Bye-bye! Moika. I just remembered I didn't tell you my phone number. That's okay. <laughs> I'm a lot more comfortable commuting by email anyway. What about you, Okabe-kun? Moika. Are you still asleep? <laughs> Rise and shine. Have you talked to the super hacker yet? Oh, I'd also like to hear what, uh, more about John. What's his face? I'm super curious. I'm nocturnal, so I usually don't go to bed until the sun comes up. It's not so bad once you get used to it. Mail me when you wake up, okay? At 3.36 in the morning. Let's see. She started at uh, 8 o'clock. Almost 9. T uh, not, yeah, 9. And then almost 10. And then doesn't email again until 3.30 in the morning. Yeah, I can tell you're nocturnal. And uh, that's all the time I've got for this episode. But remember, like and favorite if you enjoyed. Make sure to share with all your friends. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the panda party. Because there ain't no party like a panda party, because panda party don't stop. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.